Good morning, legends. Welcome to a new trading week. Wow, we've had an amazing start to the week so far, but will this level hold? And that's what we're going to get into today. We're also going to take a look at a formation that I was talking about a couple of weeks ago on this channel on a higher time frame and have a look how it's playing out so far and whether or not that formation is still actually valid. So before we get into it, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe. You know what to do. Leave a comment. Let's get more real comments than scam comments going on. That's always my goal for every video. Big thanks to all the subscribers so far who have really helped me to get my videos out there around the internet. Now being the start of a new week, I like to look wide before we zoom into smaller time frames. So let's start there. We're going to have a look at the four hour time frame where this formation was originally being formed. And that, in case you aren't aware, is the trapping volume formation. Now we identified this pattern somewhere around here before we got this stop hunt. There were two things I said in that video could happen. One, stop hunt rise. Two, higher low breakout. We actually got both. So right here was the stop hunt. A lot of people got an entry down here and were able to take this move to the upside. At the same time, what happened here was a lot of people who didn't get that trade all of a sudden had that fear and panic and FOMO that they had missed out, which is exactly what the market maker wanted you to feel right however if you do go back and watch that video and I'll try to link it somewhere up here if I can find it but if you do go back and watch that video what I did say was that we would get a break and then we would come back and create a lower high and as long as we create a lower high that formation was valid if you missed this move then the lower high was here on this stopping volume candle right here and you could have taken this one so it's a lesson to not panic if you miss a trade there's always going to be another opportunity however now we have another problem and that problem being the 200 EMA on the four hour time frame. As you can see, we have struggled here once before, came back, created the higher low, and now we are struggling here again. Are we going to break that 200 EMA this week? That is the question. What's happening here in price action right now is very, very similar to what happened here when price was struggling to get above the 50 EMA. And then eventually after a number of attempts at it, we got a big volume candle that broke through it. So will we get a repeat now where we might struggle to break that 200 EMA and then hopefully we get another volume candle like this that breaks through it? It's a bit of a risk right now. Couple of reasons. We are in the bearish moon phase as you can see from here which means generally we want to be trading the shorts more so than the long. You are not going to believe it. I just finished filming an entire update and then Bitcoin threw in this massive red candle. So I'm just going to refilm my thoughts for right now. This is going to be a very quick one because I really don't trade falling knives like this and need to wait for recovery. The moral of the story was that we need to hold this yellow EMA. So right now this candle, I mean, it's got a minute to close but it's dancing right on the edge. So at the end of the day, if we stop here and we start to go a little bit sideways, we could still have a chance of further upside. But if we break fully close below it and then have another candle that fully retests it, that fails to get back above that, then we're gonna start flipping short. But if we zoom out, we can also see what is happening on this purple EMA on the one hour time frame, which is the 800 EMA is exactly what was happening here on the 200 EMA. So price kept trying to come up and kept rejecting it. And then eventually here we came through with really strong momentum to break through right here. And now we have a repeat of that. So the other side of it was every time we did reject that yellow EMA, we held this level here at around 28,700. So now are we having a repeat on a higher EMA where we may hold this 29,400? That's what we need to wait for next. These candles here have now been fully recovered in this candle right here. So the job may be done. There isn't many other candles to recover below where price is right now to that support level. The delta this morning was to the longs and it was sitting at 10 billion. This needs to refresh because the candle only just closed, but a lot of those would have just gotten taken out on this big drop down here. We came down to 30,000. So if we have a look, 30,000 is about here. So we've taken out all of this 
right here, all these people who are long here. This is the next highest level here, which is sitting at around 29.6. 29.6 on our chart takes us back to this support level. So if we continue down, this is the area to watch right here. However, the market maker may have already done everything that they intended to already because they have fully recovered three these three candles. So I'm just going to edit this into the start of the video that I had just finished editing. Don't let the moon phase put you off, just trade what you see. I just like to be aware of it because as you can see here, this was the bullish moon phase. We usually have a sell off into it and then a pump out of it. Bearish moon phase, we usually pump into it and sell off out of it. So far that hasn't happened, but it is a two week phase. So we don't know if it's coming. So moon cycles aside and looking at the higher time frames, going off the EMAs alone, we have a little bit of struggle town right now. Don't forget that the TTC Discord is open for the month. We are at the beginning of the month and it is the best time to join. So if you're wanting to access these things without having multiple different subscriptions, come and join us in the first class tier of the Discord. We are trading in there 24 seven. And on that note, just a big shout out to everyone in the US and the UK that has joined us in the Discord, especially this month. It is so humbling to have an audience that is worldwide within two months of me starting my own things. So I'm so grateful for everyone that's jumped on board. I was looking at the analytics the other day and found that 34% of my audience is from the US. And I just think that that is huge. I never could have imagined that. So I just wanted to say massive thank you to you guys for believing in me and for jumping into the community and to wake up every day and see that there have been conversations going on all night, people trading 24 seven, no matter where they live in the world is just the best thing ever. As far as news events, we are looking pretty good. We don't have a lot of news events this week. So that should leave us open to have a typical week. I think the only real period that we have potential volatility might be during the UK session on Thursday. And then we also have CPI Friday, but come Friday, we should be out of our trades anyway. So that may not affect us. However, we do have this happening, which is a bill that is about to be presented. This is in the US. The goal of this bill, my understanding is to basically declare Bitcoin as a financial asset, but in doing that also make all altcoins a security. Now, I don't expect this to have much of a movement on price because it's only being presented and it still has to be passed. This really is only stage one. However, if people don't fully understand how this works, it could cause potential fear and panic, especially in altcoins, because this isn't good for altcoins. And therefore, if we keep that in mind, it could cause a panic sell with altcoins or potentially have people shifting their money from altcoins into Bitcoin. And if we have a look at the Bitcoin dominance, you can see here that that Bitcoin dominance is absolutely charging through. And this is the key level. We've been watching this for a long time. If we push through that and people are fearing and panicking just irrationally over this potential bill, then we may see a bigger bleed on alts. So just be careful of that. However, the other side is we could get a big rejection. So if we get a big rejection here, then the alts will have some room to actually move whilst Bitcoin might go sideways and do nothing. So definitely keeping an eye on the Bitcoin dominance now that we are entering this zone. Be careful of altcoins today or over the next few days. And also keep an eye on the NASDAQ and the S&P. They push out, it's gonna be good for Bitcoin today. So that's what I'm looking at today. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash that like, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not getting the notification, sometimes YouTube can be a bit annoying like that. Just unsubscribe and resubscribe, turn the bell to on and it should fix things. And be sure to check out the Discord link down below if you're looking to deep dive into any of these trading strategies. I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's update. Have the most amazing day.